it's Dottie here. Today we're unboxing the Real Littles Mini Mega Mart playset. I am so excited about this. <laughs> All right, let's take a closer look at this packaging. So here's the thing, you guys. This has been out for a while, and I just found out about it. <laughs> I went to Target and I couldn't find it. I went to Walmart and I couldn't find it. I finally found it on Amazon. I may have paid too much for it, but either way, I'm so happy to have it. So as I said in the beginning, it is the mini Mega Mark playset, and it is over 30 inches wide, and it is a transforming playset. And it looks like we got a couple of pieces. Let's take a closer look at that. So it looks like we got two new pieces. It looks like we got some chips. It looks like we got some little cereal. And if we turn here to the side, it looks like we have some Pringles barbecue, which you cannot find in the little mini packs. And we also have a little box of cereal called Cutios. How cute is that? It says here, full of fun, not food. And here's the other side. We got some nutritional facts. Recommended servings of play, five to seven times per day. Servings fun per package, endless. Happiness, 100%. Saturated cuteness, 100%. Concentrated fun, just 95%. Contains vitamin, SPK, I don't know what that means. Boredom, zero, totally. Dietary fiber, we don't need any of that. Total awesomeness, 100%. And let's not forget the ingredients. Concentrated cool, extra sweetness, cuteness, happiness, silliness, made with no artificial friends, because who needs that? Contains high doses of fun, all in capital letters, but there is a warning, once you shop, you can't stop. And here's the back of the packaging saying it displays over 60 mini packs that is awesome because i do have a lot of real littles so i thought it'd be really fun if i actually opened all of this up and i stopped this whole thing because if you've seen my videos before you know i have a ton of real littles so i think it'd be really fun to organize all this i don't know about you but i love watching organizational videos all right let's open this up so I have to say, this is a really good size box. I don't know the measurements, but usually a big box is really hard to unbox on camera. So I hope I can get everything in the screen. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> Hearing all the plastic come off. Okay, so let's get this side and we'll get this side. And there's our cutios. So it looks like it just easily pops open from the top. Open this side, open that little notch, take this out, and oh, ooh! Okay, it's stuck. It won't come out! <laughs> See, there it is. It won't come out! I think I just need to shake it a little harder. Ah! There's our mini mart! And it did come with some directions. Now, this part right here looks like you just have to. Whoop! That was easy. And on this side that I just pulled off is just more of the nutrition information. All right, so here's part of that box that I peeled off. Let's go ahead and open this first. I am dying to see these new pieces up close. Let's turn it around. Oh my goodness, stinking cute. It looks just like the box. It even has that. And the, nutri well, the nutrition information's not there, but that's still okay. High in fun. Well, I have to tell you, I'm having fun already. So the box doesn't lie. Let's go ahead and take this out. Oh, that's so stinking cute. I like the little faces. And there's the top. Very, very stinking cute. I'm assuming you can't get this piece in the little pack. So I'm happy to have this new one to my collection. Next is the Pringles with a barbecue. This one you definitely can't get from the little packs. That's for sure. So let's get our little buddy out. you can tell this actually looks more purple than it actually does like barbecue sauce but I'm not gonna get technical <laughs> it does have a purplish tint to it but I love that it matches the purple eyes so cute I'm so glad to have this in my collection all right let's open up the big mega mart so step one it looks like we bring this thing down step two we bring the other two things down step three it goes that way and we just pull everything else out so let's see if I can do this on the first try so I didn't notice this when I took this out of the box, but look how stinking cute this is. It says cutios and it looks just like the box, but everything is like dented in. Oh my gosh, this is such a stinking cute touch. Good job, real littles. All right, let's take this plastic off. Oh, 
Don't want to break it. Oh no! Falling apart! <laughs> okay, I thought I broke it, but I didn't. So those directions, this comes down first. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that! And then the other part of the directions where these two come down next, and these are kind of hooked on top. So this, <laughs> oh, I love it already. And then part three was this comes down, and this comes down, and then part four, this comes around. <laughs> All right, let's take a closer look at everything. So that first piece I pulled out, I just put right there at the entrance. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. <laughs> and let's do this side right here. Sorry you get to see my blind, so that I think that's understandable with how big this set is. <laughs> and this is the pantry. <laughs> so it looks like this is just blank space right here. And here we have our little freezer section. And you could put little frozen food in there. And of course, this looks like where you pay for your stuff. This looks like where you bag things. And they actually have costs for everything. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. As I said, I probably overpaid for this and so far it's really worth it. All right, so let's have some fun. Let's stock our mini mart. So the first thing I'm gonna stock is breakfast. So we have our little Rice crispy cereal, our Fruit Loops, and look how big this is. You can put everything in here. There is our Fruit Loops. We will put some Pop-Tarts right here. I think Pop-Tarts is a breakfast food. So we'll put our Pop-Tarts right over here. Oh my gosh, it already looks so good. <laughs> and we have some Frosted Flakes, Apple Jacks, Let's not forget the new addition to our Real Littles. We got our little cuties. So Real Littles has a ton of ice cream. So I'm really glad they gave this big storage for all of the ice cream. So let's put some in there. We got these fruit pops. Now, can I lay them down? Looks like I have to put them this way or can I put them this way? Looks like it has to go this way. So we have those little fruit pops. We'll put in some Breyers chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, doesn't fit. <laughs> Let's do something a little smaller. We'll go ahead and do the scribblers. And we'll put the chocolate chip cookie dough on this side. And we'll also put in the king cone. Cute. Next we have our little frozen section and these little doors open. This is so stinking cute. Let's open up the other side. And for our frozen, we can put in ice cream, pizza, mixed vegetables, and some waffles. So let's put in some Eggo home style. We'll put in my favorite, the Marie Callender's chocolate satin pie. We'll put in the Klondike bar. And next we'll put in the popsicle firecracker. Cute! And we'll go ahead and close our little doors to the frozen section. All right, next is our dairy section. We can have milk, butter, cheese, and yogurt. Now think about Real Littles. Uh, I don't think there's any cheese and I don't think there's any yogurt or milk. So we'll go ahead and just put some more frozen stuff on here. But for the dairy, we'll go ahead and put our Ready Whip. We'll do our blue bonnet butter. And we'll do some more ice cream because if you love ice cream, you should definitely buy some Real Littles because Real Littles has a lot of ice cream. We'll do the black raspberry chocolate. And we'll put it down here where it's really big. We'll do the Klondike sandwiches. And we'll just go ahead and put that in sideways. We'll do the Briar's vanilla. And lastly, we'll do the popsicles. Yay! Next, we'll do our sweets. Let's start off with the Rice Krispie Treats. Let's do some butterscotch pudding. Some delicious fudge stripe cookies. And we'll even throw in some popcorn. 
some Rice Krispie Treats birthday cake. And we can't forget the Crunch and Munch. So for pantry, we can put ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, and mayonnaise. I'm also including some items that you would normally find in a pantry. First, let's start off with our brand new piece, the Pringles Barbecue. We'll do the Hunt's Tomato Ketchup, the Golden's Mustard. Let's throw in some Rotel Tomatoes. the Hunt's pasta sauce, Mamwich Bold, Chef Boyardee, and let's do the Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. And here from the front of our mini mart, I'll just add some miscellaneous items. Items you would not find in the freezer section. We got some Nutri-Grain bars. And one of my favorite pieces in this collection, the Swiss Miss. More Chef Boyardee. And let's do all of our Pringles. We have our sour cream and onion. Our cheddar cheese. And our Pringles original. And voila, we got our Mini Mart put together. This was so much fun! So I hope you all enjoyed my mini Mega Mart, and I hope you enjoyed me stocking the shelves. I know this is a little different what I normally do, but this was so much fun. Again, I hope you guys liked it. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do tons of unboxings on my channel. If that's something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button and that <coughs> notification bell. All right, you guys, happy hunting, happy unboxing, and have a great mini Mega Mart day. Bye-bye. <laughs>